welcome to the last of our Count Up to Christmas Advent Daily Devotionals. This is designed for Saturday, December 24th. I'm the Reverend Sherry Daniel, and this is the Duluth Congregational Church. Every day for the past three and a half weeks, we've had a special practice that you might want to consider adding to your pre-Christmas countdown, or maybe even to adapt throughout the year with your family or your greater community. And we've had a passage from scripture that helps us get our minds around what exactly is God saying about this particular practice? How can we be like our biblical folk and practice this sort of, of giving and living together? The scripture today is from Luke 1, and it is fitting for this day as we contemplate the approaching birth of Jesus Christ. Jesus was born into a world where there was much conflict. And if we look at the history of the Hebrew people, there's almost always been conflict. There's been wars. There have been internal conflicts. When Jesus was born and began his teaching, people who chose to follow his way of a slightly expanded um, understanding of the scriptures also had conflicts with, within their families and within their communities at large. And even today in the Middle East, in Israel in particular, there is conflict and it's hard for us to imagine peace in the world. The passage is this from Luke 1, 26 through 38. The nugget being, nothing will be impossible with God. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Most Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her, who is said to be barren for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. And then the work began. Of course, she was engaged to Joseph, but Mary had some explaining to do. And an angel of God also appeared to Joseph in a dream to help explain how she became pregnant, even though they were not together. Conflict can be small, can be great. Our prayer today is for peace in the whole world. What can we do to bring peace in our hearts, peace in our families, peace in our communities, peace in the world at large? What we can do is one little thing at a time. Let us pray. O oh God, your will is that there be peace on earth as it is in heaven. Open our hearts to receive the gifts of hope and peace and joy and love in this Advent season and throughout the year. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin within the hearts of your people. Amen. Happy Advent. Thank you.